Well, hello, fellow YouTubers and fellow microbe hunters. Um, I promised that I would do the second part of the video of making whole mounts of insects. And I started and stopped the second half many, many times. I couldn't believe how many times I ran into trouble doing it. Every time I started something, I either forgot something or something didn't go right. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks making these uh, simple instructional videos. They end up being anything but simple. And it's all because of myself. But anyway, we have here a housefly that was uh, processed some time ago and um, made into a whole mount. You can see that's a pretty thick housefly. Okay, I didn't want to crush it too much because the structures may look, look damaged and crushed. So we wanted to maintain the integrity of the uh, limbs like round instead of squished flat, etc., etc. So, but it's flat enough for you to use a 20 power objective to be able to zone in on the structures. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and I'm, I've cheated. On this, um, on this example here, I was going to use a spider, but the first dry run I tried, it took so long of me manipulating, I decided to just uh, cheat a little bit. So what I did was I took a piece of pink sticky paper and put it in the middle. That's our insect. And then we have our uh, glass slides, two glass slides, held together with small paper clips with a paper shim in between so that the insect can't be crushed too much. And if you notice with the, um, let me just do this here. With the, um, we're gonna, let me zero it. We're gonna zero that. Here's the paper shim right here. I measured it like that so much. 0.2, depending 0.2, some come 0.1, but anyway, it was a three and a half by five index card. Some index cards are thicker than others, but you can cut them into little squares. And if you want to have it thicker, you stack them. If you want to have it thinner, you can use aluminum foil. But in this case, for my purposes in this video, um, this paper, the two, uh, 0.2 is, is good enough. So let's pretend the pink thing is an insect. And um, what we need to do is remove the paper clips like this. And it's going to be a 50-50 whether the insect will stick to the top half or the bottom half. You remove it from the 100% xylene. I have my bare hands, but you have to use protective gloves, acrylonitrile or any product that will prevent the xylene from permeating the um, the, the uh, material, uh, acrylonitrile. I don't know exactly what mine are, uh, but I got them, um, I just made sure that they were good for paint thinner, and paint thinner, a lot of it's usually xylene. So we're gonna remove this. I know it's gonna stick to the bottom one because the underside of that pink thing is sticky. And um, we're gonna reveal the, uh, the insect there on the bottom half. And it's important when we add the mounting medium, which in my case will be permount by Fisher. The permount by Fisher is a, is a well-known uh, mounting medium. And uh, let me see here. You want, it's important to decant it into a smaller bottle because you don't want it to dry, of course, and uh, because it'll make the um, medium thicker. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the xylene and we're going to put some xylene on there. I don't have any xylene right now because I'm indoors, but we can make pretend that I just made it a little wet. Now, the insect, of course, isn't perfectly flat. There's going to be a, some little folds little uh, valleys, little mountains, etc., etc. These are all areas that will pick up air bubbles if you put on the very thick mounting medium. So that's why it's important 
to kind of flood that area with xylene. You don't want to make the whole area xylene because you want it to be mounting medium, but at least have the insect there. So then we're going to add some per mount now. Let me just use the higher magnification. You see there's an air bubble in the front. I'm going to squeeze it so there's no air bubbles. I'm going to run, just do it like, like a bead across the bottom like that. And then um, I will put the cap back on the per mount because I don't want that even to dry out. Okay, and then we are going to add the cover slip, which is tricky. The cover slip is very tricky. This is where you introduce your bubbles. And even if you're as careful as can be, sometimes you still get bubbles. So I'm gonna take the cover slip and go right to the edge. You'll see the xylene, you see the glass pick up the, there. And then I'm going to lower the cover slip very gently. Don't, don't hurry it and let it flow. And it's not flowing, is it? <laughs> See, why isn't it flowing? Oh, there it goes, it's flowing, yes. You can just barely see. You can see it flowing right there. I think we need a little bit more. Yeah, we need a little bit more. It's gonna take a while. Well, this is a flat piece of paper and um, it should flow quite easily. This one isn't but we don't want to uh, put too much on there, but we'll add a little bit more. There it goes. Okay, good. You can't see that because of the lighting. I have a big problem with lighting. So once you have the xylene and the cover slip on there, and look, if you can see, would you believe there's an air bubble? Right, right there. Or is it an air? Yeah, it's an air bubble. I'll be darned. So there's no escape in those air bubbles. And I see, you can see the xylene is running down the side there. So once you know that the entire cover slip has moved all the xylene out, we can pick up this extra along here like this. Yeah, you better be very careful. You don't move the cover slip. But uh, yeah, do that very carefully just because you don't want to move the cover slip like let me see oops I moved the cover slip you see that should be good enough and then what I'm going to do here we go I'm going to take the uh, cover slip a little bit. I'm going to push it in just a tad. So it's, there we go. Okay. So that's kind of centered there. And then the last thing I want to show you is we have to pretend this is an insect with a lot of bumps, etc., etc. I made this little table here. I'm going to use a different magnification. Excuse me, guys. There we go. There we go. And if you notice, this two matchsticks. You can use anything I, you, on a piece of paper. Two matchsticks glued, and then I made this device, which is a glass slide with an angle iron and the uh, piece of wood there, which is a matchstick, angle iron glued onto the glass, and a weight. It's just a regular nut. And we're going to very gently, very gently lay the weight into the middle of the cover slip like that. There we go. And I can see just myself. I don't know if you're going to be even see it with the video, but um, it's kind of oozing out just a little bit. Let me see. Can you see it oozing out? If I changed it, let me change it, put a heavier weight on there. I'll put the heavier weight. You might be able to see it oozing out. Hang on a minute, there we go. Yeah, see how it's squeezing out? Uh, then we would get ourselves a Q-tip and we would just clean it very gently. That's right, like that. And if you noticed, 
The reason I have these match sticks here is because what happens a lot of times is the mounting medium will go around the side of the slide underneath it and stick the slide to your table. So this can go around underneath and it won't stick to the table. You know what I mean? So just, it's one thing that I learned. Anyway, I think that's about as much as I want to show you. Then you leave it like that for as long as it takes. Could be a few days, it could be a week, could be two weeks. The thicker the slide, the longer the dry time. That's all I can say. All right, I hope that was informative and sorry about the delay. Take care.